I'm Lydia and I've been looking at this stainless steel shot for polishing your jewellery. You use it while it comes in a tub like this and it's for use with a tumble polisher to make everything nice and shiny. Usually I use this if you can see this stuff here. This is a mixed shot so it's got different shapes. It's got satellites, it's got pins, it's got tiny balls, it's got bigger balls and some dowel pins. I've had this for 12 years and um, all you need to do, well what, what I've done is keep it in my barrel with water and a teaspoon of a barreling compound or you can use mild detergent like dish soap um, and it doesn't go rusty. Hooray! Um, yeah, if you leave it out it will uh, I think it, it can develop rusty bits, um, so I prefer to keep mine wet and soapy. And like you can see, I've, I've had it for that long and it's it's good as new. Uh, so the action of the tumbler bounces the shot off your jewellery and hopefully makes it super shiny and bright. Um, so you can buy it in these individual shapes. This ball shot is, is fine. I used it on big flat pieces like bracelets, so these were in for sort of half an hour and you can see they've developed their nice, nice polish all over. What it's not going to do is get in any crevice that's smaller than the actual shot itself. So if you've got quite dinky settings or, I don't know if you can see this, if you come close. On a ring like this where there's, there's little tiny indentations, the, the shot hasn't got in there and I'm going to polish that by hand later um, but it but it won't polish obviously anything smaller than it than it can fit into so if you do a lot of flat silver um, or a lot of big sort of plain rings or bangles this will be perfectly fine if you want it to get into nooks and crannies if you do a lot of varied jewelry then probably a mixed shot is going to be better for you but for large not, not even large just uh, silver with a, a plain surface or gold um, this shot will, will do you fine.